Hello, welcome to Vlogmas day five. So today I've got some packaging to do. I have something to sew for the shop, so I can show you a little bit of that. Um, and then hoping to have a few hours of crafting tonight and I'm hoping to do some spinning because I haven't spun for ages probably since Jensen was a couple of months old and then I had difficulty doing any so we'll see. <laughs> um, I might just leave it till Jensen's gone to bed. So I'm going to sew a scissor case from this yarn and needles fabric and this is for an order from my website but I do have a free tutorial for the scissor case that I make and a DPN case as well on my YouTube channel so I'll leave links to those in the description bar down below so I won't go through the whole process in detail on this vlogmas episode but there are those tutorials if you need them. So I've got some wadding that I've put underneath the outside fabric and then I'm going to layer that up and give that and stitch that around but as I say the full tutorial is in the description box down below if you want to have a look at those and I do have some kits as well um, if you want some fabric for that so I'm using my um, Coco Knits uh, magnetic wristband for this. This is really really useful. I got mine from Michelle's shop which is the loveliest yarn company. Um, I'm sure that they still sell them. They sell a lovely range of the Coco Knits um, items um, which everything I've had that's Coco Knits I think I'd recommend as well so they do some great gadgets. This is one of my favourite little tools for cutting buttonholes. Um, I've got a buttonhole that I've sewn here. You just put a cutting mat underneath. I've got a little tiny miniature one. And just cut the buttonhole. And it just means that you've got no risk of opening up the side um, and splitting where you've stitched. So there we go, that is cut and ready to close up over the button. Ta-da! Right, so I've made, this is a case that I need to pack and post today and I've got a lot of orders um, that I need to pack and get posted today. Um, I did get some done yesterday but because I had the quilt club meeting I didn't get as much done as I thought I would. Um, but all the rest of the ready to go ones are going to be shipped today and then I'm going to be dyeing tomorrow. I can't dye any yarn today because Andy's in the garage doing our boiler. Once that's done tomorrow I can have free reign of dyeing <laughs> so that'll be good I am going to dye the yarn clubs tomorrow I think so I'm looking forward to that but today I've got these orders to pack So let's do your advent, gents. So number five today. Number five already. Can you With find number, number five? five? Right, I'll do the top and the bottom and then you can open it. Ready? Oh, look, it's a stocking. Oh, that's nice. Shall I help you? 
in there really well. Oh, oh. here we go. Ah, oh, a stocking to go with the rest of your ones. Isn't that good? Well done. I'm going to put this out the way now. Show everybody your stocking, Jensen. Going to show everyone what you made. Look what <gasps> Jensen Look made. Look what Jensen made. That's very good, Jensen. Who is it? Who is it? Is it is it Father Christmas? Yeah, you made Father Christmas. You made his nose all red. You did. It's red because it's cold outside, and he's delivering all the presents. Yes. Well done. <laughs> So we've got 20 days to go till Christmas. I'm hoping maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll be able to get the proper Christmas decorations out. So we'll be a bit more festive. So I decided to get my spinning wheel out and I already got a project on there. Adam, if you show everybody what I was spinning before over there. <laughs> this is the fibre that I was spinning already and I'd worked, I'd done a bobbin and a half of this but because I haven't spun for a while I wanted to try something um, for practicing just to see how I got on with my spinning because I haven't spun for a little while um, at least since last year so I found I got a box of fibre from Wing and Woolwork so Wing and Woolwork recently have started packing their actual orders in waste fibre that they card together into a bat um, and I found that I just couldn't let go of it <laughs> that's the order I bought because I buy all my dyes for my dyeing um, from Wing and Woolwork and um, I obviously got a couple of orders there over the last six months or so um, so I've got two lots of this um, all different mixed up colours. There's quite a lot of neps in this particular bit. Um, but I thought actually the colours were quite pretty when it's all mixed together. There was a big bit of teal which I've been working on already. So it's a real sort of muddy mixture of colour. But I thought it might be fun to have a bit of a go at spinning. And I'm trying to go for something like a DK or an Aran. I'm not very good at getting spot on with my weight um, when I'm spinning but I'm, I'm not being so fussy with this as I would normally be because um, I want to sort of make a nice rustic looking hat with it I think afterwards knitted um, so I'm, I've got that much done so far um, I haven't measured out sort of half of the fiber which was a bit silly because then I could work out how much to do on two bobbins and then ply them together but I'm just gonna spin um, a big chunk of it and just decide what to do there. <laughs> there are some neppy bits in it though, uh, which is going to make it a little bit less neat. But it seemed such a waste not having to go with it and plus I needed something that I wasn't too fussy about um, as I haven't spun for absolutely ages. And it's quite fun seeing all the different colours and they go along but I think it's it's coming out as an overall as quite a muddy colour because of all the colours mixed together um, some of the fibre seems just like merino to me but there's obviously some different ones sort of mixed in um, but it all seems relatively good quality it's just that there's a, those small nips which obviously change the texture of the yarn if you're going for a very smooth smooth yarn finding myself going back to a thinner yarn by accident sometimes just because I my sort of motor memory tells me to go thin 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 <laughs> well it doesn't matter if it goes a bit thick and thin it's just a bit of fun I'm 
So this is what I've managed to make. I've got quite a bit on two bobbins and I have some left on the floor here. Um, which I'm going to try and get spun tomorrow and then hopefully ply it together so it's not particularly even because there's different fibres in there mixed together but I'm trying to go for a DK Aran weight so we'll, we'll, we shall see tomorrow whether that is the case um, but we have to do Adam's advent it's now nearly half past ten so we better get going we're on our advent day five yes day five in the middle here Looks like wrong. Harry is no longer alone. Ron has met him down the pub. So today's socks, I am wearing my Contrast Blast socks. This is a pattern by Stephen West and this was a mystery knit along in the summer. Um, you can see that the heel isn't particularly good fit, to be honest for me. The leg fits and foot fits, um, but it's a bit baggy wearing the heel flap. Um, so I followed, I think it was the either the 82 or 84 stitch um, pattern instructions. And obviously, because I've got quite chunky legs, the um, that's what I needed for my leg, but not for my ankle. So I should have actually thought, pick up less stitches or do a shorter heel flap. Um, because it might be might turn out a little bit big um, but I didn't I just followed his pattern instructions um, and it is quite baggy around here but I think they're still okay they um, they look very attractive I think and I love the colors I put together for this this is the paradise sock set um, Adam is wearing some knit picks for Leachy and actually these ones you've worn quite a lot so they're a bit more bobbly than some of the other pairs um, again, they're a simple top-down sock pattern, um, like I tend to do quite often. Excuse the fluff on the actual carpet, it's from my spinning. <laughs> so the pattern I'm wearing today is the Water Lily by Megan Fernandez and Lydia Gluck. I had to check that. <laughs> and this is a top that I made absolutely ages ago. Um, the yarn is from Ginger Twist Studio in Edinburgh when we went on a trip up there. And I just love the, how the laces come out in this yarn as well. Oh, 